Hey everybody and welcome back to my English Space. My name is Mariana. I'm your teacher of English from Romania and I'm here to help you up your English to the desired level. So if you're interested, just stick around and get the most out of it. Well, not before you hit my subscribe button down below with notifications so you never miss a video. Well, I am here because I've just been back from Bologna, the beautiful city of Bologna, where I've been on a city trip, on a city break, and I got the inspiration for making this video where I am going to teach you some movement verbs that will, of course, come in handy whenever you're away on a trip, on a getaway, whatever, and also a couple of other useful vocabulary. So let's get us started. In order to make my explanations even more clear, I'm going to base all of my examples on my real life experience. And that's why I'm also going to add some pictures and short videos that I managed to film on the way while being there. So, my first verb for you is shove. Mind the pronunciation, let's practice. Shove, shove, very good. It means to push, so that is its primary meaning, to push or make one's way roughly and by making use of your arms and elbows through a crowd because that's our situation here. One such case when you can use the verb shove just happened to me at the airport with some people shoving around. So I could see those people in the check-in queue while waiting there and shoving around in order to get to the front of the line because they had a flight to catch. So those people were shoving around in an attempt to get to the front of the line. When was the last situation when you have experienced some case of shoving yourself? Hmm? Please let me know in the comments. Another verb that is similar to this previous one is to jostle. Jostle. Please practice it with me again. Jostle. Very good. Well, it means to knock or push roughly against someone in order to move past them or get more space in a crowd of people. So jostling usually occurs with a, with a large number of people. So with crowds and especially by using again your arms and elbows to make way through the crowd. So if you ask me uh, with this picture that I just put up here for you to see, I'm here all alone with no people around me. So it just wasn't the case for jostling here. I mean, you know, with this kind of lookouts, people would like to get a better spot to, to just catch a glimpse of the canal, like in my case here, but it just wasn't the case. It was all um, free, so, you know, there was no such case of jostling. Another case of jostling happening is with children or why not people that are too impatient to stay in line. And of course, we're talking here about nicely and politely waiting in a queue. So children might be, children were jostling while waiting in line for the zip line. You know, children are also jostling when they are wanting to get some ice cream, maybe? Why not? So, yeah, that's the case with jostling. What is your example with jostling? What kind of crowded situations can you think of 
and drop them here so I can get back to you and improve your and help you improve your English. My next word for crowded situations is scramble. Scramble. Very good pronunciation. Well, it means to move to a certain place also in a quiet and awkward kind of way. Especially when using not only your feet but also your arms. So you're using your arms like walking on all fours in order to make it my example here has nothing to do with the city break situation, yet it is very helpful. She scrambled out of the room as she started sensing the smoke. So as you can see, the scrambling here has to do with some emergency situation. Like um, another one that I can think of is someone choking up on their own saliva or I don't know when they have breathing trouble or why not maybe they're at the theater and due to some asthma problems they might be scrambling out of the theater hall in order to catch some more air and breathe properly so that is the case with scramble scramble what is your example as to this verb? Put it here down in the comments. The next word for you today is jolt. To jolt. Mind the dark owl inside of it. And now let's practice together. Jolt. Very good. It means to cause someone or something to move suddenly and violently. Well, uh, it can also be used as a noun. A jolt is like a sudden movement upwards, especially when you are, you know, on the go. So while on a train or on a bus on a bumpy road, you know, the jolts. <laughs> you can be given some jolts on that bus because of the bumpy road. Let's get to the verb now. Well, and I've got this picture for you with us on this city tour, little train, on this little city tour train, where we at times were jolted while passing over some bumps in the road. And that is absolutely normal. One thing's for sure, these jolts can take you by surprise sometimes because you just don't expect them. So, what are some jolts that you've experienced lately and when? <laughs> Let me know here in the comments. Well, with this said, we're almost there. I hope that you've made the most of my video and the vocabulary that I've taught you today. And I hope that you are also going to put them into practice by putting your examples here in the box. Thank you for making it to the end of my video and I hope that I'll see you again next time as well. Bye for now!